Welcome back to Doctor's Homestead. My name is Daniel and this is Prepper Pantry Pick of the Week. Thanks for joining us for another episode. We really do appreciate it whenever you guys watch our videos. Like, subscribe, and comment, of course. We don't really say that very often, but it's encouraging, you know, as content creators. So, wanted to jump in on the Prepper Pantry Pick of the Week, and we're back at beans. You might be tired of hearing about beans, but I wanted to do kind of a visualization here. You know, I know a lot of people are pushing canned goods. I see it all the time on the YouTube's videos of, from other preppers about get your canned goods and they're not wrong right I'm not saying they're wrong get your canned goods right it's a good time to start stocking up on food you look at everything that's happened over the last couple years you look at everything that could happen over the next couple years and I think it is absolutely important to have a deep pantry right to build up your pantry to have your food supplies your food security invest your money in calories right prices just keep going up inflation keeps going up it's a good idea to have a little bit in reserve in case there's any problem with the supply chain or anything else having said that canned goods are certainly a good choice I just wanted to break down and, and give the dry beans their due, right? Talk about some of the advantage of dry beans, kind of talk about some of the differences, right? So uh, we were out shopping today and I saw Goya and I know there's plenty of other brands. They just were just kind of right next to each other on the aisle. And since they're very similar, it seemed like a good choice for the equivalency here. You got Goya black beans and you got Goya black beans, right? So one set is canned, one is dry. Um, let's talk about the dry. So what I did, just so you could see the difference, is I took the dry beans, and it was a little tricky, but I got them all in a mason jar. So you can see what one pound of dry beans looks like compared to three pounds of canned goods, and why, why am I comparing it to three pounds? So one pound, 16 ounces of dry beans is 1,500 calories which is just keeps you above the starvation level, right? I didn't push it up to 2,000 calories because it's uh, 16 ounces, one pound per bag. It's at 1,500 calories, it'll keep you alive. So this is one day. One day's worth of food, and that day's worth of food will cost you $2.28 for that one day, that one pound bag of beans. For the entire container, I'm not looking at servings, I'm looking at the entire day. You get five grams of fat, zero grams of sodium, 270 grams of carbs, 70 grams of fiber, 10 grams total sugar, and 100 grams of protein. So this is 100 grams of protein, two times your daily recommended. I think you're okay going over on protein for $2.28. Now there's prep, right? And you might say that's the only downside of dry beans is you gotta, you gotta cook them, you gotta soak them in water. The longer you store them for, the drier, harder they get. But that's food, right? That's your, your MRE, $2.28, assuming you have time to soak it. Um, calcium, iron, potassium. So now let's jump over to the canned beans. So I did three cans of beans because all together, these add up to 1,365 calories. So just slightly under the 1,500 calories you get in the one pound of the dry beans. But if we did a fourth can, it would put it over the top. So we're gonna, we're going to call that close enough to 1,500 calories, though I guess if you lived on three cans a day, you'd be below the starvation level, right? Hopefully we all live above that level, um, not the world we live in. So this is $3.81 compared to $2.28. So right off the bat, you see the canned beans are more expensive, right? So if you're going on price, dry beans is going to win every time. Next thing is, you see the weight. This is three pounds, right? Just under. These are 15.5 ounces, so together it's 1.5 ounces below three pounds, but once again, we're gonna call it three pounds for the sake of the video. Three pounds, one pound, 1,300 calories, 1,500 calories. So let's look at some of the other numbers here. You got 5.25 grams of fat, five grams of fat. Now this is where the kicker is. 4,305 grams of sodium, zero grams of sodium. Once again, I know some people are fine on sodium. You look at FDA, you look at CDC. Um, FDA says 2,300 grams max protein. You see something, CDC says you can push that number up, right? So if you're young and healthy, as I've said before, it's probably not a problem. If you have any kind of high blood pressure, hypertension, health issues, that kind of thing, that might be too much sodium for you, right? If you have those kind of health issues, you're going to be more sensitive to that sodium. The sodium can do things like raise your blood pressure and whatnot. Um, so we keep going. 
241 grams of carbs, 270 grams of carbs, 63 grams of fiber, 70 grams of fiber, 10.5 grams of sugar, 10 grams of sugar, 84 grams of protein, 100 grams of protein, right? So very similar, more or less across the board. This was only 1,365 calories. This is 1,500 calories. Maybe if I had worked out that extra 135 calories worth, uh, which was maybe 10%, you might get slightly closer, but you'd still be under. If I had 10% to all these numbers, would get you your 1,500 calories. You'd still be less protein than you'd get in the dry beans. So I want to throw that out, right? Just something to keep in mind. Once again, you're building your prepper pantry, your long-term food storage. We're talking shelf life. You know, I mean, dry beans, shelf life, uh, cool, dry place, mylar bag, oxygen absorbers, that kind of stuff. You know, relatively indefinitely, right? 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, if stored properly. Um, I think on the bag, yeah, this is 2026, which is about three years on the bag. If you're storing it properly, it probably lasts a lot longer. Um, if you look at the canned beans, we just got these today. Also, this is 2028, so five years on the back of the can. <clears throat> so the can says it lasts longer, best by date. Um, a lot of people out there are going to say canned goods pretty much last forever as well. So you can't really judge them on shelf life, right? I think people would be willing to argue that the dry beans have a indefinite shelf life if stored properly in canned goods have an indefinite shelf life to store properly, depending on how you want to look at it, right? Anytime you're going past the best by date, you have to use your best judgment, right? No one's going to guarantee this food is going to last forever, or certainly not the manufacturer, and I'm not going to either, right? There's no point. But this is what people say. People say it can last a long time. If you're starving, open it up, take a look. You know, use your best judgment. Does it smell right? Does it, does it look okay? Is it moldy? Is it gross? At some point, you got to taste it, see if it tastes okay. If you're pushing past that shelf life, you know, if we're walking dead and you're, you're going house to house looking for food, they always go for the canned goods. At that point, you're probably going to be happy to have the black beans. But once again, so just to kind of recap, and then I won't keep beating this up, comparison of the two, obviously storage space required, right? You've got one jar versus three cans. Um, weight, you got one pound versus three pounds. Cost, you got $2.28 versus $3.81. Once again, I know there's cheaper beans out there. I wanted to add these to our pantry, so I got it as much for that. If you wanted pinto beans, you could do the same comparison with navy beans. Any kind of the beans, you can do the same comparison. You're going to see the dry beans cost less for the same number of calories, way less for the same number of calories. Certainly have less sodium, right? Zero versus 4,305 milligrams a day. But I acknowledge, right? Some people say, uh, I can eat all the sodium I want, and that's fine, right? We're not, I'm not fighting you on that. I'm saying that is a high level of sodium, and depending on your health, that could be problematic, right? It's certainly better than starving. If this is all you had, great, you're gonna be fine. If this is all you had, great, you're gonna be fine. But if you're worried about space, if you're gonna carry it with you, once again, one pound versus three pounds, that's a winner right there, right? So I wanted to get that, get that out there, beat that dead horse a little bit more. So thank you for watching and we appreciate you.